worries if you don't want to put your camera on. That is not compulsory. It's completely up to you. Now, I'm going to set the intensity up here. You have all these levels, depending on how you're feeling today. You might feel like just being down here. You might feel like you want to take it up to that notch. It's completely up to you. All you do is take, the, take any jumps out, if you don't want to do jumps, and just take your rep rate down to decrease that intensity in tonight's session. Okay, with that being said, we're going to get warmed up, find your space. Make sure you've got no slip or trip hazards around you. Take your water when you need to. Take a deep breath in through the nose and blow it out through the mouth. And I want you to draw your abs in. Suck them in. So it's like a belt tightening around your transverse abdominals. And then relax your breathing, but you're still holding that tummy tight. I want you to keep it like that if you can, Parker, for the whole session. That's really going to increase the workout to this area. All right, let's take it into a shoulder roll. Up and round for me. All the way up and round. I'll just get rid of a piece of apparatus. All the way round. And take it forward. Deep breaths in through the nose. Think about your posture. Squeezing that core tight. Alright, let's do some leg swings. Same leg. Just increase that range of motion with every swing. Keep that back line straight. And your hips neutral. And switch legs. Very good. Hold on to something if you need to. Okay, take it into outer circles with your legs. Let's get that hip joint open up and around. Give me a little skip in the middle. Well done. Let's bring it inside. Rotate it round. Still with that shuffle in the middle. Still warming up if you're just coming into the session. And let's take it into squats, feet shoulder width apart. Take that bum down, pushing the floor away with your heels and keep that tummy tight. We need to focus on, especially as we go down, we tend to just let it hang. Scoop it in. I want that mind-muscle connection between your head and your abdominals. Keep it going. Just because you see me stop, Parkers, you don't stop, you keep going. It's your workout. And sweep the floor. Rise up onto the balls of your feet. Stretch out those abs and your calves. Keep it going. Very good. Three more. Two more. Last one. Let's go for little ski twists. Keep those knees together. Light jumps on the ball of your feet. Rotate the waist. Good job. <laughs> and last one. Squat with a knee lift. Engage the core. You're squeezing it so you can feel your oblique muscles crunching. So you bring that knee up. Rotate. Keep that going. For three, two, one. Skip it out. Okay, what we're going to be doing tonight? We've got 12 exercises. We're going to be doing it for about 45 seconds. Then we have an intermediate exercise that we're all going to jump off the floor and do. It is this. It's a lunge. Switch your legs in the middle. Alternate lunge to the other side. We get up, we do this little lunge pattern, and then we get a rest. So just give that a little go, if you want to. 
Nice job. All right, first exercise. You need your mats. Hit the floor. On your back. We got tuck crunches. Here it goes. First 50 seconds like this. Legs all the way out. Bring them into your tummy. Light hand prints on the floor, just the fingertips. Remember, you've got your tummy vacuumed in. Squeeze it in, lock that core in. Sit all the way out, bring it in. Now, if you want a modification, you give me single legs, one at a time, out and in. We have 10 more seconds here. Good job, meet in the middle like a sandwich. Brace that core. Three, two, one, up you get. Switch, switch legs. Land in a lunge on one side. Drop the knee back on the other side. Straight back. Try and get that knee to touch the floor. Now remember, if you don't want to jump, you can just alternate lunges, no problem. That's it, good job, use those arms. And rest, well done, we've got 10 second rest. Shake those legs out. We're back on the floor in a plank position. And off we go. We've got oblique mountain climbers where you're taking your knee over to the opposite elbow. And you can go slow or fast, but I want you to drive that knee up as far as you can. That's it. Lift. Rotate at the waist. Let's cross that knee under and over. You are halfway through, Parkers. Keep it going. Well done, you Visha. The good tempo. The rest of you guys, you keep going. You've just dropped off camera, so it doesn't matter. I can't see you, but you're going to keep going. Push for the last five. Three, two, one. Up you get. Back into those split lunges. Just take the legs forward and back and then alternate as you drop down. So you get about two little leg changes, takes you down into a lunge, a reverse lunge. Five seconds left, just use those arms. Good, rest, 10 second rest. Shake it out, brilliant job. We're back on the floor. In a low plank, so on your elbows, and you're going to take your hips, rock them side to side. Let's go. Pull that tummy in. Use the balls of your feet to rock side to side. Try and get that hip down to one side, then draw it over using your oblique muscles over to the other side. Good job, you're halfway through. Pull those bellies in tighter, Parkers. Very good. 15 left on the clock. Keep it going. Side to side. Spring line back. Three, two, one. Up we get. Switch legs with the lunge. Keep it going. Really drive that back knee down to the floor. Nice straight back. Less than 10 seconds. And rest. Good job. Ooh, starting to feel it now in the legs. Well done. Let's come back down to the floor. We got Russian twist in three, two, one. So, hardest level is to keep your feet off the floor with 90 degrees in your knees. Taking those hands around to side to side or keep your feet down. Rotate. But I want it to be your muscles in your tummy that's taking you around. Not so much the shoulders. Control it here in your midline. Squeeze the tummy in tighter and you're really going to feel that contraction. Don't rush it. Try not to speed up here. You're just going to hurt your spine. Control it round and round. 10 seconds to go. It's a stop to your waistline. 
Wednesday waistline workout. Up. Let's go. Back into it. So let's really use some drive in those arms. Back knee touch the floor. And watch your front leg. Get that knee tracking in line with your ankle. Five on the clock. Well done, Sue. Looking good. Rest. Shake it out. Well done. Good job. All right, we're on the floor. In a low plank again on your elbows. Back in with me, partners, when you're ready. You're taking that knee, gliding it off the floor, around to your elbow. Scoop that tummy in. You want to be lifting that knee up as high as you can. Your modification is doing it on your knees. Which looks like this. On your knees, high plank, and then you bring that knee round to your elbow. Keep it going, Parkers. Five seconds. Squeeze that tummy in tighter. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Let's do it. If you want to work harder, you could just jump a little bit higher. Keep pushing. Yeah, good work. Drive those arms. Well done, Deborah. Round rest. Shake it out again. Those legs. Woo, let's hit the floor again. Okay, we're going to put the legs up in the air. You're going to give me tiny, tiny little movements. Top half of this range of motion. Reach for your laces. Don't let the shoulder blades relax and go down if you can. Keep reaching. Squeeze that tummy. Long fingertips. Come on, how high can you reach? The lower back should be on the floor. Just the shoulder blades. So you're in that top half of the range of motion. Reach for those laces. Let's go. Ten seconds. Good, that's it. Push through the burn now. Come on, keep it going. Pull the belly button in tighter. Three, two, one. Hop, hop. Keep up the good form. Let's drive those arms a bit higher now. Halfway through this little cardio burst. Keep it going. Three, two, one, rest. Very good. Back on the floor. In your high plank. When you're ready, guys, come back in. You're bringing that knee all the way in and you're giving your laces a good tap. Pull that knee up. Switch those hands off the floor. Again, you can do this on your knees. So you just bring your knee through, tap your knee, take your knee back down to your mat. Yeah, keep a nice streamlined back, bottoms down. Belly button squeeze. Halfway through, Parkers, come on, keep it going. Lift and tap. Good job. Ten to go. Keep that fluid if you're going. Yeah, smooth. Three. Two, one, jump lunges, split lunges. Try those elbows. Back knee down, let it touch the floor. Push up with this front quad. Halfway through. Now I'm not changing this cardio move here. This is what we're doing. Keep it going. And rest. Well done. Shake those legs out. Good job. Right, you're going to come on your back. You're going to make a star shape on the floor to begin with. And then you're going to bring yourself up onto your bottom. Reaching for that opposite hand, opposite foot. Let's go. We only have a 10 second recovery. 
We don't need longer. Because your abdominals are resting while we're doing that lunging. Reach and twist. Pull yourself up. Twist in the middle. And scoot that belly button in tighter. Push, lift, and squeeze. Well done. Keep it going. Woo! Awesome. Well done. Come on, keep it going, Nigel. Up we get. Lunges. Well done, everyone. Stay strong. Soft landing. Remember, you can just walk it and alternate lunge. You can march it and lunge. And rest. Well done. You're doing awesome, Parkers. Crunching away. These abs are coming on nicely. Okay, we're back on the floor. Take your arms above your head. You're going to bring yourself all the way up and reach forward. Lean into it in the middle of your legs. But you want to be using that core. Keep it tight. Lift up vertebrae by vertebrae. Lean forward and then roll it back vertebrae by vertebrae by pulling your belly button in tight. You want to really feel this. Keep it going. The secret is in how tight you are vacuuming your tummy. Well done, my, my Polina. I see it. Keep going. And back up to your lunges. Straight in, no rest. Looking good, Parkers. Come on, keep it going. Push. Get that back knee down. Awesome job. Good work, Deborah. Everybody off camera, keep going. Stay strong. And rest. Well done. Back down onto the floor. We're going to be doing bicycle crunches in three, two, one. Now the key here is not to spin it out fast, it's to slow it down and lift the shoulder blade, the opposite shoulder blade off the floor, taking your elbow to the opposite knee, point your toes, try and keep those feet in a nice straight line, the legs go all the way out, bring it in as you rotate over. Suck your belly button in. I'm going to say it for the whole session because it's so easy to just lose track of that. Keep it going. Should be a sickener. Oh. Breathe, guys. Just don't hold your breath. Exhale on the way up. You've got five seconds left. Sit strong. Back in. Lunges. Let's get that back knee down every time. Slight change in the gap in between your legs. Keep it flowing. It's not long. It's only 10 seconds left. Well done, Parker, you're smashing it. Good work, Sue. Keep it going. And rest. Well done. We're going to do one more. We're going to do leg races to finish. Here it is. All the way down, all the way up. Tuck your hands under your bottom. If you don't want to do that, you can just do knee raises and rotate the waist. See, well done, Felina. And those of you who do leg raises, I want you to keep a static hold now. Hold those legs out as low as you can without your lower back coming off and scoop that tummy in. Hold it for 10. Brace the tummy. Five on the clock. Come on, scoop it up. Three, two, one. Let's finish it. The jump lunges, 20 seconds. Come on, quality reps, guys. It's all about good form. Halfway through. 
Keep it pushing. Five on the clock. This is it. Everything you got left in the tank. And rest. Well done. Shake it out. Good job. All right. You work really hard tonight, guys, on your core. It's not always about beasting it burpee time. It's about slowing it down and really focusing on those deep abdominal muscles. Okay, so we're just going to do a few quad stretch because we have done some lunges and stuff. So keep those knees together. Very good. Switch legs. Keep your balance. Hold on to something or someone. All right, I'm going to cross that leg over. Lean over to one side. That should give you a nice stretch around the outside of your body. You've still got your abs sucked in, guys. And change the other direction. Now, it's not often that we give you tips, perhaps in our classes, but if you practice this vacuum sucking of your tummy, just as you're sitting around your house, just for like a minute, hold it there. Keep it up every day. You're going to find that you thin out your waistline because you're strengthening those transverse muscles. Give it a go. Or research vacuum, vacuuming your abdominals. Okay, so you're pushing your knees away with your elbows. And push the floor where your heels come up on your tiptoes. Stretch out those abs once more. Wiggle your fingertips. Come down. Bring your hands to the front. Good work, everyone. Well done.